Give them rope. <laughs> You're watching and listening to Z191 TV, <laughs> internet radio.com. With, well, not really with Give Them Rope so much as one half of Give Them Rope, but it's still Give Them Rope as far as I'm concerned. Uh, please introduce yourselves and tell us what you play in the band. I'm Ryan, I do guitars. Uh, Rich Douglas. Okay, and. Uh, so, uh, who's the, uh, the, 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 the rhythm section that would normally be with you if you were to play a show or record a song? Um, Ahmed Smith should have been here, <laughs> and Tom, the bass player, should have been here, and Chris, who's on an expedition, but should have been here also. But <laughs> hey, you know, we're representing. Right, well, you know, sometimes... You know, not everybody can make it. Sort of reminds me of the end of The, of the, the Godfather 2, when they want to have uh, Brando's character come back, but they couldn't get the actor. So everyone <laughs> runs into the back and they sing for He's a Jolly Good Fellow to the character. They, they, they treat him like he's he's almost like a, a divine presence. He can't really be pictured in here. That's kind of how we're treating Chris right now. It's just like, I, I don't think a show like this could really capture his... His Majesty, anyway. So it's like we gotta, we just gotta pay him tribute. It's sort of a, the more you talk about him, the more, uh, you know, you, more you increase his presence and honor him, or something like that. Exactly. Okay. Exactly, man. Right. So not everybody can be in the same place at one time. So, well, not everyone you know, can be locked on with a deadbolt, but uh. Was that a good joke? Nice reference. No, no, no. That will be explained. That that comment actually makes sense. That's Let's, segment two. Yeah, but but before we <laughs> segment to that. You guys play like a, I guess what you could describe as a sort of like a uh, a loud kind of rock and roll, mm -mm. right? Oh, we have we have a hand up in the back. Yes, it is described as down tuned down groove metal blues. Down tuned hard hardcore metal blues. Hardcore groove metal blues. Okay. So you down tuned hardcore groove metal blues. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So we're gonna have okay. So you need to explain what that means. So we're not, we're not talking <laughs> Louisiana sludge metal, but we might be talking. We're gonna be getting some metal blues tonight. More on that later. But uh, well, be before we get into that, so that's that's name. You guys have been going under the name uh, Give Them Rope now since uh, just for for about a year, right? Mm -hmm. Before that, you were called Deadbolt. That's why I made that reference. That's what all, what all you were warning the whole time. It was just that one little thing, that one simple sure. reference. It was nothing more than that. It was actually very stupid of me. Please? But uh, that's what you guys were playing out under. When were you doing? How long did that last? Um, actually, me, and, yeah, Deadbolt is a. Uh, funny reference but mm -hmm. me and Chris started doing that like many years ago when me and him started just like jamming out in his bedroom and doing just mm -hmm. like whatever it is you know just jamming out shit and you know we came up with the name it lasted like a while I How mean it was a while yeah, too, too long like 10 years actually I came up with the name and you know after a few oh. years into it I started to hate the name you know, there is another West Coast band named Deadbolt. I see. You know, yeah. didn't they send you so, a yeah? We used to get like letter. you know, we used to get like just like as a goof or something. They used yeah. to send like dumb we shit, like from. little okay. emails here and there. And it's like there was never like any harm intended. It was you know a name a couple kids came up with at the time, and you know, I met we somebody at it. one of your shows who thought you were the West Coast Deadbolt. Yeah, I heard about that. Oh, I heard about that. Yeah, and he refunded. We, they, he demanded his money be refunded. Did so. he? Yeah. I, I knew I someone can't say that I blame him, but I, I knew someone who's in a band called Eulogy, and he had a very bad day from years after the band broke up. He went online and tried to find out how many other punk rock bands there are called Eulogy, and then he felt really bad. You know, put a, put a, put a blemish on him. You know, if you got a name that's that's taken or that doesn't fit you, it's best to change it now. Or another thing, you know, another name that that came up as a it's a, so, that, that, that sounded good when they were all kids, like Incubus or Ed Guy. Or Ovlo. Ovlo. Uh, not even going to get onto Ovlo, but I mean, Jesus Christ, is there a worse band name than Ed Guy? Well, I, I mean, there's, a, a, there's a lot band. of bad names out there, and I'm not saying we have the best name, but, 
you know, it's it's, so it's a lot better than what we had. So you, know, so you we're, haven't we're received letters from it. the band that's give them rope yet. What about uh, give them enough? Where rope? are they from? I don't know, but they're not together go, anymore. Oh, okay, because if you go on YouTube, there are. Okay, <laughs> okay, I saw that. So that's why I was part I of my uh, question. What, what, what about, are we in for? Another? What about, uh, uh, what, about sl- <laughs> what about slinging ropes? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Spider Man. <laughs> okay, so we got down tuned groove, groove metal. hardcore groove metal. Down tuned hardcore groove metal blues. Yes, yeah, you know. Okay, now I I, I think that I'm thinking well, some like. So. Uh, the first thing that comes to my mind, I'm thinking something like Louisiana sludge metal, like that band I Love God, I think they're called, or I Love God, or I Hate God, or maybe a Crowbar, or That's something like that. That's definitely like, like um, you know, when when me and Chris first, you know, formulated like Dead Bowl, you know, mm-hmm. we, we had an idea, we wanted to tune down, we wanted to play like a little So slower. what do you tune down to? We tuned down to D. Full D standard? D standard. Okay, so not you know, top and then D. Sometimes okay. we tune down to just, you know, just C. Wow. There's certain songs nowadays. Um, but, yeah, I mean, speaking me personally, I was really, really, really influenced by, like, you know, the southern scene. You know, like, I Hate God, Crowbar, um, you know, Soyla. Even Soyla Green, you know. Uh, you know, there's there's so many great bands down there. There's It's... There's so many to name. Kind of slow down, but, hardcore groove, like that that one bl- period of Black Flag. But we all, yeah, yeah, Black Flag, huge influence. Is Celtic huge Frost influence. by any way do they pay into Celtic Frost. Frost. That, no, they yeah, they, they mispronounce it intentionally. Okay, no, Tom, it's Celtic. It's it should Celtic. be Tom Ward Celtic developed Frost. an entire vocal style out of butchering English pronunciation. <laughs> His man name is Celtic. <laughs> <laughs> right Death Throne in Power. Okay, oh, right, right, also like, play fast too. You know, and I mean there was like you know being from the East Coast. Philadelphia, yeah. near New, New York, you know, like New York hardcore. There, yeah, that influence. Tough you know, you have like, yeah. you know, Minor Threat, Agnostic Front, you know, Bad Brains. There's, there's a lot of like, there's a, do there's I, a do lot I hear of great a, bands out. Do I hear a shade that, of Pantera know. in the sound? Uh, I don't personally, but you know, some people said it. You know, some people said Lamb of God. Oh, you God, know. Okay. Um, which I personally don't get. Um, but, <laughs> I don't get that at all. You know. Nope. I mean, I mean, it's well, cool. if someone I'll says that, you should say. Right, right, right. No, I mean, I'll take the compliment. I mean, it's cool. You know, I heard Meshuggah. I love Meshuggah, but I don't. You're crazy. Destroy you know. race and proof. <laughs> to go from Meshuggah to I hate Todd. That's like a really big. Uh, mm-hmm. But like, yeah, yeah like you know, our, our musical palette kind of covers a broad spectrum. So, now what about uh, as far as the blues go? Is there an actual like a? Uh, Blues influence? You guys like li- li- listen to any blues band? I try to put them. I'm, I'm a huge blues blues lover. Huge I like Gary Moore. Gary Moore. Oh, I love Gary Moore. Okay, well that's I mean that's Murder in the Sky. Right? Yeah, yeah. He's back on the streets again. You know. <laughs> My, I mean, I love guys like Gary Moore. I love Stevie Ray Vaughan. Stevie. Ray Vaughan. Um, Stevie. You know, I love Joe. Uh, Bonamassa, if I'm saying his name right, I'm a little fucked up right now. Oh, he's going to be at the, he's gonna be at the but, show next I mean, week. I like, I like traditional old school, like the black dude sitting on his porch playing like an yeah. old beat up. Just give it to me, guitar, I have a song about it. Just slide, it. Here, here it goes. I mean? yeah. You know, like, you know, Sun House, Muddy Waters, you know. The originals, the greats. Yeah, like Robert yeah. Johnson. Like, I love shit. Like, I can listen to that all day long. I have man. no idea what he's talking about. That's Robert the, Johnson. Yeah, the <laughs> now, now Who the hell? Turn. Buddy Waters. Who's that? What are your influences now? It's your turn. Come on, Rich. Well, I just want to know, like, as far as guitar wise, is that, or do you have, do you do a lot of bluesy guitar solos? Uh, do, do we get no, I don't do solos at all. But I like to do like the riff, man. I like feel. I like mm-hmm. feel like when it when it seems like when it comes from your soul, it doesn't matter what it is. Like as long as it comes mm-hmm. across and you put some passion yeah. into it, man. It like you can make it happen. And like <laughs> I, I think that's. You know, sometimes like how our music is, like when we play live, like you can you can feel it. Like you feel that we're, it. Yeah, we're, we're we're digging it, man. We're having fun up there. So you ever kind of do give us some more like a, a Muddy Waters influenced album? Do, like <laughs> maybe cover it after the after the Rain album in its entirety, or that's my that's uh, my side project. Okay, awesome. <laughs> <laughs> do, 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 imitate the cover of After the Rain, though. Do that. <laughs> everyone everyone posing the way he is on that album is with all you guys. But yes, well, we talked about that. We've talked about his influences from the down from from, from I Love God to all the to all the, the great blues guitarists. I hate that. Now we have him coming in here. You don't say. Stop saying that. Now, so I your, love influ- God. your influences are what, like a, a stri- Striper, 
trouble, yeah, yeah. mortification, yeah. paramecium. Or... Trouble's great. Mm -hmm. Trouble, <laughs> psychotic. Shout out, shout out Everyone likes trouble. Everyone has. I'm definitely more from the old, uh, the old school thrash mm -hmm. era. Yeah. Uh, no, Pantera, like you mentioned that earlier. But maybe Orcus, are they an influence? Or? <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> okay. I don't see any. I don't see any. Orcus at all. No, no, no. I don't see any. I don't see any Orcus at all. Abolish? Is anyone in Nah, not at all. No. Oh, okay, never. Nah. Okay. No, nah, I mean, uh, yeah, definitely. I mean, all the bands he mentioned, uh, the Crow Bar, uh, I like them too. Yeah, but from my my personal influence is more old school thrash, Testament, mm -hmm. yeah, the Anthrax, that kind of stuff. How about like the the Big Four? Are they a Absolutely. big part of it? And That's then, the whole reason why I do what I do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Death Angel, I I'll take yes, it. Yes, yes. And uh, please tell me you're a metal church fan. Yes. At that point, okay. All of them. There we go. Got to go. That's sort of the sort of the big eight when you squeeze them in an Exodus and Testament. There's a whole lot. You yeah. need Overkill Creator in there. and Overkill. You yeah. need Overkill. The big ten. There you go. Creator. I mean, the, the big ten. The list goes on. I, I want to ask Rich. What Hell do you bastard. think of Warbringer? Uh, I like them. I like them. I don't have okay, too much of their stuff, but I do like them. Right for, oh, we got some audience questions we, coming up. We will be having this come up. I want to actually, After if you guys video. don't mind, I'd like to just break the video real quick. This is even real blank, and I believe this is in the truck, this is truck narrow. Um, and uh, when we come back, I've got a question about venues in the city. You guys seem to be playing, uh, opening up for some of the biggest shows lately. And C -O -C. I wanted to know some of your personal opinion on some of the uh, what's going on with some of the venue situations here in Philly. But meanwhile, we're going to keep over here. Just give a blank. It's live in the truck. Please, if I'm wrong, please stay out of Crackton. And we'll be right back with Give Him Rope. Albatross, fly off. Uh, right. okay. I have to observe and fix something on the At the North Star. Fly off. Don't forget that. We have exactly five minutes. Don't forget that. Okay.